Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about my number one money maker, and that is these dollar store egg containers. I sell out of these like crazy. I did a few video tutorials back, and for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm gonna do another one for you, so stay tuned, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make these. So these are the files that I created myself. Um, I got inspiration from, from Pinterest, but I created these myself. You can make them yourself or you can go on Etsy or design bundles and purchase these. I'll leave a few links below if I find them. Um, but a few things to note, if you do them yourself, you're gonna wanna make sure you change the size. So the size that works for me is 11 by one. So this one's pretty close, 11.12 by one, but you don't wanna really go over that. So these are all 11 by one. And um, ooh, that one's a little bit bigger. So I always double check and see. So I'm gonna unlock it here and I'm just gonna change it to be 11 by one. Glad we got that one together. Um, this one looks a little funky because it's not so wide, so I'm actually gonna unlock it, make it a little bit bigger. Looks kind of funny that it's, that second egg is just not looking right, so I'm just unlocking it and making it a little bit bigger. Um, and it's okay if it is a little bit more than, you know, the 11 by one, but that's what I measured mine to be. Um, so you just wanna make sure you don't go over that. So all these should be around the 11 by one, but these are the ones that I created. I'll shrink my screen a little bit so you guys can see them all. Get some inspiration. Um, you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you copy me. Uh, I just, you know, put the words into the text and then found a font that I wanted to use. And then for these, I just found, you know, free SVGs on Google and clean it up and put it into design space. Um, if you want a full tutorial on how I did all this, I did do another video a while back, um, but this is just a recap of how much money I make and this, that it's my biggest number one seller. And I love sharing things with you guys when you can make money. Um, so this is definitely a big seller for me. So I just wanted to show you guys this. So if you want a full tutorial on how to make these, again, I'll leave the link below to my other video, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'll weed it out, and then I'll show you the process of how to put it onto your egg cartons. Okay, so I'm done with my files. I cut out this one to show you what it looks like. This is just the Rise and Shine Mother Cluckers. <laughs> But that was kind of funny and then I have one here that I did not weed yet I just took out the the O's and the part of the A on here just to show you I do that part first it just seems to make it a lot easier then I just take a little weeder uh, if you guys watch my channel you know I don't buy a lot of uh, Cricut brands so this actually came from Harbor Freight I think I got five of them for like three dollars works amazing and it's a lot sharper than the Cricut brand so I'm just taking a piece and pulling it Okay, so here it is. I just have to go in and take out the piece of the G. And the next part is to put your transfer tape on, but I wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm using. So this is a dollar store egg carton. They come just like this. They do have a little um, tag on the top here, so you need to take it off, and then you need to wash it with some alcohol, which I did already, because I knew I was gonna be doing this video. And then they also had one right here too. So you wanna take it off and then rub it really well with alcohol. That'll clean it really well so nothing's there that your uh, vinyl will adhere to it. So the next part you wanna do is take a piece of transfer tape and I just buy the cheap transfer tape. I think I got this even from the dollar store as well. Um, I know they sell it online on Amazon I buy it from. I just use the cheap stuff. So I'm just putting it on. I'm gonna lay it down. Then I'm just gonna take my squeegee that I have here and just rub down on it really well to make it stick to the transfer tape. And then I like to flip it over and do it backwards to make sure I'm getting everything off as I'm pulling the transfer tape or the backing of the transfer tape rather. So here it is. Then I'm just gonna take this egg carton, try to set it up so y'all can see it. It's not gonna stay for me. I'll try it this way. And I just actually judge where it should go. Um, I'm looking, there's a line down here, so I'm kind of looking at that when I put the, the vinyl on, and I'm kind of lining it up at the bottom. And I know what this file I have um, some eggs that I'm gonna put on here too. So I'm trying to get it right in the middle that when I have my next part, 
I can put the egg on each side. So once you get it down, use a squeegee again. Just rub it on really well. You can also just use your thumb and kind of push on it. And then peel back your transfer tape. And I love to reuse my transfer tape, so I'm gonna save it for the next piece. And that is that simple. So I said, like I said, this still needs an egg on the side here and over here, but I did not weed those out yet. And um, I have this one as well. So I'm gonna show you really quick how I do this one. So I'm gonna take the same transfer tape that I just used and just go right over this one. Same thing, just take your squeegee, rub it on really well. I swear guys, this is so simple, it just took me a little bit. And to use all of these files, I used one piece of black vinyl. So I think I bought the vinyl for like a dollar for the whole sheet. So I think there was like 12 or 15 files on that. So I got, let's say 15 files off of it for a dollar. And I bought all of these egg cartons for a dollar each. And I sell them for 12, so if you do the math, I'm making a lot of money here. So these are really huge money makers. What did this take me, 30 seconds to do this? And I'm just taking it and trying to find the center as well. And then once you get it, you just lay it down. You can use your fingers if you want and push it, or you can use your little squeegee. I kinda do both just to make sure I get it on there really well. And then just peel back your transfer tape. Perfect, look at that. So it comes with this cute little lid. You can put something on the lid if you want, I just leave it alone, but it's just like that. So it cost me a dollar and let's say 10 cents to make this, and I sell it for $12. And the lady gets a 25% commission, so I'm making like $9 a piece on each one of these, which is absolutely crazy. And they are my number one money maker. So when I make money on things, I love to share with you guys and how I do it. I do have an ebook for sale right now telling you all this stuff and much, much more. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link below, but it's just on my, on my website, iCreateCrafts.com. So go check that out. But I hope you like this tutorial. I love making these guys. I have about 15 more to go. I finished this one as well, Farm Fresh Eggs. I love putting this one upstairs for our guests to use. When we have guests for our rental unit, they just go out and collect some eggs that we have here from our chickens. But again, it's so easy. I just put a little tag on here, on um, through the inside here, and put my name on it, and then that's how she sells it for me. So it's really easy to even display. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you give it a try. Go out and buy yours. If you can't find them at the dollar store itself, you can order these online, which I did. I have a huge box. If I move my camera right there, I have a huge box that I bought from the dollar store. So I think there's like 24 of them in there. Um, but yeah, so I hope you have fun. I hope you like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Happy crafting, everyone.